Okay, this video is going to be about problem number six. It says, for acetic acid, calculate and make a plot in Excel of the percent ionizations of acetic acid as a function of the acid's initial concentration and turn in your plot. I think the plotting, uh, we probably know pretty well. So let's talk about how to get the percent ionization. So percent ionization is going to equal the... Um, uh, molarity of ions over the initial molarity, initial molarity, like that. So uh, times 100%. So in the initial, and in the uh, initial molarity is just going to be whatever our initial concentration is. And the molarity of the ions is going to be X in our ice table. So we're going to need an ice table, and that ice table is going to tell us our X value, which is basically how much reaction occurs, which is how many molarity, what molarity of ions forms. So this is acetic acid. So acetic acid, CH3COOH. I'm going to set up an ice table for it. I'm going to transfer a proton, make lots of hydronium ions and leave ourselves with some acetate ions. And for this ice table, you're going to use whatever your initial concentrations are. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five ice tables. Uh, let's start with 0 0.0001. We have nothing for our water. We have approximately 0 and 0 plus x. And you're going to look up the KB value. And then whenever you solve for your X, your X is your amount of reaction or extent of reaction. And in this case, it's the molarity of the ions in solution. So the percent ionization is going to be that molarity of ions, that X value over your initial concentration times 100%. Do that for all five of them. So five ice tables, plot it and um, turn it in.